All right, so the next one is question number 10.21. The question reads that primary alkyl halide, which is a C4H9Br. So I have here as C4H9Br and this is supposed to be a primary alkyl halide. This compound is given the name A. Now this compound is going to be treated with alcoholic KOH to give compound B. Alright and compound B is treated with HBr to give the compound C. So this C is going to be an isomer of A. Now next one is C18. Alright now we have C18, C8, H18 which is different from the compound formed when N-butyl bromide is reacted with sodium. So, when I'm trying to uh, get C8 and H18, this is, say, I'm going to treat N-butyl bromide and I am going to treat it with sodium, alright? So, say for example, I'm going to get, a, get some compound E. This compound E is not going to be equal to C8H18. So here it says, give the structural formula of A. You need the structural formula of A and write the equations for all the reaction. So this is something that we are going to uh, do right now. Alright, so we need to find out the reactions we have to find out how to solve this particular question let's see it so here the question first one says that you need a primary alkyl halide so I'm just going to use certain methods so I have two three methods in mind let's apply one by one so first thing is it says the compound is going to be C4H9Br so I'm going to draw a C4H9Br because it does not give me any information. Is it going to be a branch chain? Is it going to be a straight chain? So in that case, I'm going to just take this compound. Okay, so this is my C4H9Br. And the very first step is I have to treat it with an alcoholic KOH. All right. Now this is a primary alkyl halide because this carbon over here is bonded to a Br and this carbon is primary. So, it is a primary alkyl halide for sure. Now, when I try to do it with alcoholic KOH, obviously the rule that's followed here is going to be a sage zips rule. Okay. Now, when I treat it, what will happen? I'm going to form a double bond over here. So, I'll get CH3, CH2, a CH double bond and a CH2. So, that's my first one. And then, so this is going to be the compound B. After this, it says that it needs to be treated with HBr, which means it's going to now follow Markovnikov's rule. When it follows Markovnikov's rule, Br is going to be bonded on that carbon that contains least number of hydrogen atom. So this is going to be my compound C. Why? Because Br is going to be bonded to that carbon of the double bond here that has least number of hydrogen atoms. So here I will get 2-bromobutane as my answer. And then it says that if I'm going to take A, this is my A, and if I treat it with sodium in dry ether. So let's try that. I'm going to take this CH3, CH2, 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 Br. And I'm going to react this with sodium in dry ether. This is basically going to be a Woods reaction. So I'm going to need two of this and I'm going to need two of this. So here, obviously, I'm going to form 2NABR as the byproduct. And the chain is going to double. So I don't have certain to space. I'm just going to put the terminal carbons here. And I'm going to put the total number of CH2s in between. So I have 1, 2, 3 CH2. And I'm going to have a total of 8. So which 2 is already here. So here I'm going to put 6. So I'm going to get my entire chain right now of octane. 
this is going to be D. Now it also says that um, when I try to, what do you say, when I try to do, I should also get my product, get this particular product. Now this is the uh, first part. Now the second part says that when I take an N-butyl bromide, this is basically an N-butyl bromide itself. When I take an N-butyl bromide, I have to get a product which is not equal to C8H18. Right? So here, when I when I uh, it should it shouldn't be equal to the C8H18. But when I try to do a what do you say? Mm, and uh, uh, Woods reaction for the same thing, I will end up getting the same molecule. So method A, this particular product cannot be used because my resultant products need to be different because this is going to be D. D shouldn't be equal to whatever I get as a result of N-butyl bromide. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to try the next new uh, molecule. So what I'll do is I'm going to take my second method in this, I'm going to take the same C4H9Br itself, but I'm going to take a different structure here. CH3, CH2Br. And I'm going to do the entire same method again. The first step is to read it with alcoholic KOH. I will get states of rule where double bond is formed between these two. So here I will get double bond CH2 with the CH3. Third step is going to be treatment with HBr. It's going to be bonded to the carbon that contains least number of hydrogen atom. So I'm going to get a Br over here. Now what will happen is I'm going to take A. Okay, I'm going to take A and I'm going to do a Woods reaction. Alright, I'm going to take A and do Woods reaction. Now here what will happen is CH3, CH, CH3, CH2, CH2, CH, CH3 and CH3. This is the molecule D that I am getting. So I need two of this and I need two of this. So that is D. Now what they are trying to tell is when I take N-butyl bromide, that is this, whatever product I am getting over here, has to be different from D. It shouldn't be the same. That is a question. That is what they expect us to do. So when I do it with the dry ether, two of this and two of this, I'm going to get a long chain of eight carbon atoms here. Now this is the product E. When I compare these two, both of these are not same. This is what they want us to get in the question. So, for this they are asking what is the final answer of A that you are considering of the molecule C4H9Br. So, it also says that the product that you are forming here as C should be an isomer of A. It is an isomer of A, right? It is not different. Isomer meaning same molecular formula but a different structure I am going to get. Definitely A is an isomer of C. And definitely both the products from D and E are not the same. Therefore, the possibility of having A as an alkyl halide should be this particular molecule. So this way when you get a question to find out what is the, uh, you know, to find out the starting material or something, you need to find out with various other molecules. Only then you will be able to solve the question. Alright.